Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be unboxing the Sephora Play Box for the month of September. I keep thinking we're in October for some reason. Um, anyways, I know it's been a long, long time since I've posted a video and especially a Sephora Play Box. I believe it's been about three months. Um, I do apologize, like I've just been so out of it when it comes to filming and posting and all that good stuff, but I am really really going to try my best at getting back into the swing of things um anyways i don't want to ramble too too long i like to keep these videos sort of short so anyways the last four digits of my package id is 9390 thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and let's dive right in so this month's bag is definitely different than any other bag i have received in the past at least that i can remember it's like a weird plasticky material almost like a ziploc bag like a sandwich bag uh, that's how it closes and opens and then on the back or the front not sure it says opens bag it pours out samples high five self hashtag sephora play uh, to be honest with you guys i'm not that into the bag like this style it just seems a little cheap but i mean it is what it is like it's a bag I don't really care that much. First thing that I want to talk about is the thing I actually end up using today. And I really love this about Sephora Play is getting these mascara samples. I literally haven't bought a full size mascara in so, so long because I'd say at least like every other month I get a mascara sample and I love them. So the one I received is by the Sephora collection. This is the Lash Craft High Volume Mascara. I do believe I have received this sample before in Sephora Play. But for me, like this repeat doesn't bother me too bad because I actually do like this mascara. Like I said, I used it today and it's not something that I would go out and buy the full size of, but I will definitely use this until it runs out. I do like that. And like I said, I love the sample sizes. I feel like they work personally like better for my eyes uh, as opposed to like a full size mascara. So... I do like that, even though it is, I believe, a repeat. Next up, I received a product that I actually almost bought the full size of not that long ago. I was on the hunt for a new moisturizer, and this was definitely one that I wanted to try out. So I'm thrilled that I get to try it out before I purchase the full size. This is the Clinidit, Clinidid? <laughs> Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I believe this is a fairly new product to the market and uh, I have never tried Clinique skincare at all but I did see this launch and I really like the gel texture of moisturizers. It mixes well with the other products I use on my skin. So like I said I was really excited to see this thrown in here this month. It looks like a decent amount to see if it actually works for my skin and I don't have to obviously purchase the full size right now. I can just just test this out and see if it works for my skin. It is supposed to be very lightweight, um, all that kind of stuff for like oily skin types, which is perfect for me. Just really excited to try that out. I received a skincare item. This is by Ole Henriksen. This is the Truth Serum. I like ripped open the box and now it's like all boogered up. But so this is a vitamin C serum. This actually feels like really nice packaging. It is a little small, but um, I do think I'll get a couple uses out of it. But like I said, this is the vitamin C serum. So it's supposed to help with collagen and lightening dark spots, all that good stuff that vitamin C does. I'm pretty set in my ways with my skincare routine currently, but I definitely will try this out on some of the areas where I still have acne marks and dark spots to see if it helps lighten them. I think it's just heavy duty packaging even for a sample. I didn't really smell anything too crazy when I just sniffed it because you guys know I have to smell everything. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely give that a try and see how that works out. Next up, I received a product that I've never tried before, but I know is extremely popular. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replen Replenishing, I really cannot talk today, Replenishing Face Primer. Like I said, I know that this is like a cult favorite of a lot of people, but honestly, I've just never tried it. I'm not a big primer person and I probably won't try this out because I can't tell you the last time that I used the primer. <laughs> I do know a lot of people love this, swear by it, so I do think that if you're into primers or you're looking for a new one or you've never tried it, I think that this is a good product that they threw in here. But personally, I probably just won't use it. I'll set it to the side and give it away to someone who would actually enjoy it. But um, I do think that it is a decent size to try out and see how it works for your skin. All that good stuff. 
I also received a eyeliner by Marc Jacobs and I actually have, I own the full size of this shade. This is in the shade Earthquake, which is a very deep brown. So I'm not gonna open up this package again. I'll probably set this off to the side and give it away to someone. But I do know that these are some of the best eyeliners I've ever used. They are so pigmented and so creamy. They blend out really nicely but they never smudge or like run down your face or anything. So I actually do use the Marc Jacobs. I have them in two different shades. Um, I use them all the time. Like I absolutely love them. I swear by them. They last a long time, the full size product. Um, I know Marc Jacobs is expensive. So again, very cool that they did throw this in the Sephora Play Box this month, but I already own it. So I do not need to open this one, but these are really, really, really good eyeliners. This month is a six sample month. I did not get a fragrance. So the little sample, six sample size, I got the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And um, I do like this. I've actually received like the little tub of both of these. I know there's like an Aqua Balm and then the Moisturizing Balm. And I've received both of them in Sephora Play. So I received this little packet. Um, so kind of a repeat, but I do use this when I receive it. I just never go out and buy the full size because I don't like it enough to spend the money on it. But I think that this is the heavier weight one. I think the Aqua Balm is um, the lighter weight for like oilier skin. But it's getting colder out. My skin's going to get a little bit drier. So I know I definitely will like put this to good use. I'll probably get like one or two, you know, uses out of it. But this is kind of like the freebie in the package. So the size doesn't really bother me. I like all the stuff I've tried from this brand so far. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool that I got that as well because I will definitely use that more than I use like the free fragrance samples. Right, guys, that completes everything that I received for this month. My first impressions and everything like that. I do think that this is a pretty decent month um, as far as the samples go. There's some stuff that I will definitely use and then some stuff that I probably won't and just give it away to somebody, but that's okay. I still consider it a win, especially because I got this moisturizer that I've been really, really intrigued to try. So hopefully that works out um, but all in all I think the sizes of the samples are really nice the um, different brands some of the higher end brands and stuff like that so I mean I know Sephora is like all high end but the Marc Jacobs the old Henriksen all of that I mean pretty expensive stuff so it's gonna be nice to be able to try that out see if it works out for me um, so all in all, I do think that this month was fairly good. Let me know your thoughts on this month's box. Let me know what you got. Even if you got the same things, different things, let me know down in the comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for sticking around if you are watching this because I know I've been very, very inconsistent the past three months, but that is going to change. I know I've said that many times in the past because I've been a very inconsistent YouTuber um, and beauty person, but... I'm really trying to get back on the track of filming and all of that good stuff. So if you guys have any video suggestions, those are always welcome down in the comments below. Even if you just want to say hello, thanks for posting a video finally, that's fine too. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I love you and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.